Today the asset we're going to be having a look at is Stylized Nature Pack. This is a very popular package. Uh, at the moment it is on sale for 50% off. Its regular price is 15. The picture for it and the video look really good so I'm very eager to see exactly how the um, package performs compared to how it looks in the marketing material. So the package was originally released in June 2015 and last updated September 2016. So at the time of making this video it is about um, one year old since the last time it was updated which is a little bit of a warning sign. Uh, but because this is mostly assets, hopefully there won't be too much that's out of date or broken. Alright, so let's import and see what we're going to get out of this package. Okay, so here we have our stylized nature pack. Uh, I like that it includes a tutorial PDF in here. So let's open that out to see what we have. Okay, so it has a bit of details on um, using the terrain editor and a few tips and contact information. So it's quite a simple tutorial that should be sufficient for what we need to do. Okay, before we delve into all of the folders, I just want to open out this demo scene to see how that looks. Okay, so far so good. Let's hit play. Okay, it looks as good as it looks in the uh, trailer, so that's a really good start. Uh, you can see the grass swaying, uh, there's a lot of particle effects, and all of the assets in it look really nice. Okay, now that demo walkthrough was just uh, static, so I kind of want to get a um, character in here so we can have a bit more of a detailed look around. So I'm just going to add in the character's uh, default assets so that I can then add a character. Okay, so I'm just going to add a first person controller to my demo scene. Okay, so I have a camera in here. I just want to add all the camera effects from the scene camera to my character. So I'm just going to drag this dust under the character. And there's also a anti-aliasing, uh, some chromatic aberrations, screen overlay, color correction. Yep, so I'll add all of these onto the first person camera. Okay, now I'm going to run it again and I can now move around the scene. Uh, just to note, I'm recording this on a Mac, so the performance uh, is not going to be as good as what you'd normally expect. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the detail here. Uh, as you know, this is a stylized pack, so we're not expecting great detail. Uh, we can see that the normal maps have a bit of uh, bump mapping on them, uh, which looks nice. Uh, the assets are pretty simple though really like the look of the grass but it is uh, just uh, 2D sprites uh, with a uh, shader to make them move in the wind. Trees also look really good. Yeah so all of these assets are very low poly which is nice. You'll be able to have some fairly large levels without losing a lot of performance. Yeah it looks really nice. Um, I think anyone who uh, grabs this pack should be pretty happy with uh, how it looks. The terrain shading isn't so great so you might want to use something like uh, CTS uh, with this uh, just to get some better performance out of the ground shading. But other than that the assets themselves uh, look really good even up close. And you do get a really nice stylized look. This reminds me a lot of games like uh, The Witness and um, Firewatch. So yeah, for $15 or if you're lucky enough to get it for $7.50, yeah, this is a pretty good pack. Looking through the hierarchy, they've done things fairly well here. Um, there's a proper terrain mesh and all those rocks have been added as part of the terrain. If we have a look back in the package, uh, nature folder, so this is where we have all our grass sprites. So those are really simple but uh, they're very effective. Okay, and then there's a trees folder that has all of the models and uh, materials that make up the trees. That looks pretty good and there's a lot of uh, customization you can do in here with the tree editor. It also includes a couple of particle effects, so fog, sun shafts, falling leaves, and the textures that go with those. 
We have the stone models in here. And finally our textures for the terrain. The textures themselves uh, look pretty good, so I think a lot of the issues that we have um, over here could be fixed with a much better terrain shader than the default Unity terrain shader. So if you're looking for a game of this sort of style, um, this is a pretty good pack to choose. Uh, and at that price, even if you're only using it for, say, concept work, it's a way to make uh, something look really good uh, without uh, a lot of effort. So what are you getting in the package? Uh, trees, rocks, uh, terrain textures, a few scripts to help pretty it up a bit, um, and grass. So there's a fair bit in there that can help you get started with just about any game. I always tell people to um, just be a little bit cautious uh, when you're buying uh, assets like this uh, because if you want to add more assets later it's um, hard to get a artist that can copy the exact same style sometimes. So you want to have a good idea of every single asset you want um, before going in and purchasing a pack like this. But for that price, uh, I think this is pretty good. It's got my thumbs up. And I think this will be great for anyone looking to start out with uh, some stylized nature. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for other asset store products we should check out, please leave them in the comments below. Also here we try to only review paid products, uh, which obviously costs a lot of money, so if you would like to help out, uh, there's also a link in the description to where you can leave a tip or donation, uh, which would be definitely most appreciated, and help us to continue making good content like this. If you have made Unity Store assets and you want to tell us about them, uh, please reach out to me at applycreative.com forward slash contact. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.